Back close to home, families in northwest Washington are without a home tonight after a fire destroyed several units in an apartment building on 1st Street, Farragut North. Now, arriving officers found flames coming from a third story apartment that quickly spread through the roof. News Force Mauricio Casillas joins us now live with the latest on the investigation there. Mauricio? Hey, Jim, good evening. It's really astonishing to see the aftermath of this fire right here in front of this building in, on First Street Northwest. I'm going to step out of the way and give you a better picture of what the damage looks like. You can see all of that charred debris just strewn across the front of this apartment building. It's, it's pretty scary to see uh, when you look at that. And, and uh, you know, if you look up to that third floor, is that's where the fire originated. And you can see the windows have been blown off and there's holes in the roof. And while there's major property damage, we're told that thankfully everyone was able to make it out safely. Now, check out this video that was sent into our newsroom. It shows the flames ripping through the building. 12 adults, four children, and two cats have now been displaced. The Red Cross is on scene providing assistance to those who were impacted. And I did speak to the property manager here off camera. She tells me she believes the fire was caused accidentally. We could tell you that the D.C. Fire Department is still investigating what caused it. Now, the property manager also tells me that it could be at least a couple of days before folks are allowed to be back inside and spend the night back in their homes uh, because they're still, again, investigating what went wrong, and it's still not safe. For folks to be there because of all the smoke and the inhalation that might take place and there's still a lot of damage to some of the units here so it could be a couple of days until folks are able to you know st stay at their place again but the good news is they are receiving some help from the red cross and we're told they're getting vouchers uh, to stay at hotels nearby at least until they're able to figure out what went wrong here and at least until they're able to deem it safe for folks to go back mm -hmm. reporting live in northwest dc mauricio casillas News 4. We wish them the best. Thank goodness there were no injuries there. Mauricio, thank you.